endless reaches of the universe, there once existed a planet known as Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the distant heavens. There, civilization was far advanced and had brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. But there came a day when giant quakes threatened to destroy Krypton forever. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth just as Krypton exploded. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space landing safely on Earth with its precious burden, Krypton's sole survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. As the years went by and the child grew to maturity, he found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, the infant of Krypton is now the man of steel, Superman! To best be in a position to use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for true justice, Superman has assumed the skies of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. This fool masquerade. I shall be glad when I'm finished with my work here. Uh, Captain, the submarine fleet commander is impatient for news of the American convoy. He will be advised of its location shortly. To your post. My still. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Fleming. Miss Lane. Yes? Here, take these. Important papers. Destroy them. Ah, American stubbornness. I give you just ten minutes to remember what you did with those papers or I will be forced to brighten your memory with fire. So! So what? Does this get out? the convoy by this time, hasn't it? We will soon, Mr. Kent. We're scheduled to meet the convoy ourselves in a few hours. That's fine. How's that, sir? I said that's... <laughs> that's fine. I warned you, Fräulein. Unless you talk, I will make no effort to interfere with these natives. Oh, cut the comic opera stuff. Very well, Nungala. of the papers, I can... I have to look! Your Yankee baby was in vain! <laughs> Hurry! Contact submarine fleet commander at first! Yeah, well. Looks like they're having a party down there. 
and us not invited. How do you like that? What's that? It's Fleming's ship. Empty. I wonder. Department goes on to say that during this action an entire fleet of Axis submarines was destroyed by American dive bombers, affording the troop ships a safe crossing. For the mighty mission, praise the Lord and pass the ammunition and we'll all... 